What's up guys, Avery here bringing you a Black Ops 3 zombie video and this is actually going to be talking about the laser attachment and if it's underrated because I've been starting to use it a lot lately. I've used it on multiple maps and I've actually noticed that it's done a lot of beneficial things for me as also, I mean, you don't really need to use the laser but it's very helpful if you want to try to get out of these quick sticky situations. So one of the things is the quicker moving. When you're zooming in and trying to aim at zombies heads, you move slow and you may get clipped by a zombie and then trapped eventually. But with this, if you're quicker moving by just hip firing, you can be better on your feet and you can also be killing a lot more zombies with the wider spread. And then also it works on most of the weapons because obviously shotguns it's going to work but I mean I don't really like using a laser on a shotgun. So in this gameplay all you see is me using the LMG, the submachine guns and also the assault rifles where it's kind of just a nice little confined crosshair and you can just aim straight at the heads and it also hits other heads around it. It's not just like aiming and then hitting a head, hitting the body. And you get more XP off of that also because the headshots count as, I think, 75 XP. But anyway, it does give you a little quicker gameplay too because if you're moving around constantly and just hip firing, you're moving around quicker than you would if you were aiming down or whatever. And especially if you're using stamina, you're going to be on your feet going crazy. Now, obviously, the laser is going to start, like, I guess, fading off at higher rounds because you're really not going to be hip firing zombies in the head on round 30 round 40 although it may work depending on which weapon you use like the dingo or the kn um some machine guns sort of stop working around then but the laser is actually a really good attachment for i guess before rounds or the beginning rounds um i will say if you guys want to try it definitely use it because uh, I find it really helpful in certain situations and also it's just something to help you get more XP as like I said before you probably get like 75 XP per headshot kill. Now it's just an awesome little tip and trick I could uh, throw out there for you guys and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'm Avery and I'm out.